to my channel. If you are new around here, my name is Gemma and I have a nearly two year old son called Oscar. And in today's video, I thought I'd give you a tour of our garden and how we've turned it into a Montessori inspired garden. So really focusing on the Montessori principles and concepts and making sure that we're really hitting those marks in our outside space as well as our indoor space. If you are new to my channel, you may not know that we kind of follow the Montessori principles at home when I say kind of. We don't adhere to everything really really strictly but they definitely inform my parenting and they definitely um, inform my toy choice and how I parent my son and so that just feeds into kind of everything that we do including our outside space. So in this week's video I thought I'd give you a little tour around our garden. We have a, a fairly small garden. I know it looks big I know a few of you have said like oh wow you've got such great outside space now it's a really small courtyard um, and we have just tried to make the most of our space everything that I'm showing you can be done on a larger scale or on a smaller scale as well so if you've got just a balcony or if you've got uh, acres and acres of land <laughs> all of these things can be factored into your outside space. I really hope you find it useful and definitely give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this. The first thing I want to show you is actually just inside the door before you go out into our garden and it's where Oscar gets ready for going outside. So it's really useful to have a little space where they can get ready themselves. You could have a coat hook here um, with their coat ready but we don't need that now because we're in the summer, but we do insist on boots. One, because they're more practical for being outside in the mud and he's got water access as well, but also because he can get these on himself. He can hold on to here and hold on to here and able to put his feet in. So I just make sure that they're the right way round and he can uh, put his feet in. There's also a doormat so that he learns to wipe his feet before he comes in and he also knows that he doesn't come in to the house without taking his boots off. Now he does need a little bit of help taking them off but he's pretty good putting them on. So just outside the door we have this basket which is kind of an indoor-outdoor. We tend to have indoor toys and outdoor toys but these kind of go in between. So in this basket it's just things I bring out on a daily basis that don't stay out here because they're fabric and they would get uh, wet. <laughs> so in here are some bean bags. It's really useful to have uh, toys outside that provide movement for your child so that they can be active and physical. So being able to throw things. We don't have a very big space, so bean bags are really handy for throwing because they don't go very far or bounce. So that's really helpful. He also has um, out here his Sarah's Silks uh, rainbow ribbon for movement and being able to run about. He loves running about with that. And we also have uh, his Sarah Silks uh, shooting star. So in here is like a little soft ball and then it's kind of padded and then it has this um, streamer on the end so you can throw it to each other and it helps with his hand-eye coordination, practicing throwing and catching. So we do that to kind of together. So that's out here in this basket and then uh, that goes in when he's finished playing. Okay, next up we just have this crate which just stores some extra um, gardening items like my gardening things and the watering can for watering our plants. So that's kind of not anything to do with Oscar. Uh, and then over here we have Oscar's mud kitchen which is our little pride and joy. This is actually Oscar's second birthday present. Um, my husband made it. So um, I will link for you our pots and pans and I'll link the bowls because I got those online so I can link those for you but everything else uh, my husband made. <laughs> so um, we have in here we have uh, dirt <laughs> and in here we have water so that he's able to do some mud pie making. Then he has obviously his pots and pans, he's got some sieves, some um, utensils these little um, silver utensils actually came with the pots and pans and I've just added some wooden spoons and a pastry brush. This was all off our old barbecue that had rusted away so we just um, took all the hardware off it and used that. We bought a handle so that he can have an oven and in here is a fairly rusty um, tray so he can pretend he's cooking in an oven. Like I say, and this one is water. So oh, it's a bit clear because he hasn't actually come out to play with it yet. And uh, some cleaning items, so a scrubbing brush and a sponge. He loves cleaning the, um, the floors here and he also likes cleaning up, although it doesn't look like it, <laughs> cleaning up his kitchen. 
and then down below there he just has um, bucket and spade and things watering can that watering can is fab if you have a sostrin green near you um, grab yourself one of those watering cans because it can very easily be filled up and I find with toddlers they're constantly asking you for more water whereas he can um, fill this one up himself so that's really handy if you find a watering can that they can fill up themselves and you're not constantly having to do it for them and then round here is just some hooks there he has some more cleaning items he loves cleaning the windows so he likes a cloth he has a dustpan and a brush and he also has some measuring spoons <laughs> a fairly busy area and we are next to the mud kitchen here so my mother-in-law actually made this for Oscar when she came and helped us out sort our garden because she is very green fingered she found this kind of broken pot and was like we can turn it into a garage <laughs> I'd never have thought of it myself but we had these slate pieces and so the bottom of this pot is basically broken so it's on its side and the slate is like the um, road and then we have been collecting every time we kind of go down to the beach we collect some rocks and some shells and having these kind of natural loose part items in your garden is so handy because if they're in a transporting schema they can transport them they can maneuver them to make um, like roads we also include our way to play track out here as well so uh, Oscar can kind of create a whole kind of world with the rocks and the shells and the road and all his diggers and things like that. And then uh, we also have a selection of balls over here. Again, these are foam soft balls that don't go very far. So he has those, again, for movement and physical activity. And again, like, we see his tractors and things. Okay, so next up we have our gardening equipment. So as part of a Montessori garden, you want them to be able to garden <laughs> and look after plants and learn how to grow things and water things. So this is actually a set. Um, it comes with, I think, six uh, gardening items, wooden handed gardening items. I think some of them are around the garden somewhere. And also this uh, amazing watering can and spray bottle So combination. So it's um, able to be filled up, you can water and you can also spray with it. So if you have a child, if you don't know that your child likes spraying, give them a spray bottle because I bet they do. <laughs> and so this is like the ultimate two in one. I also have just a regular watering can for him as well. And actually this set also comes, the bag's down here, it all comes in this bag down here so that he can, um, he actually just uses this bag for carrying like rocks and things around, but the set actually comes with this bag. Okay, so when we're thinking about a garden, we're thinking about growing things, things that are useful and um, tending to nature. So Oscar absolutely loves this pot, which is full of uh, herbs. And also there's um, a couple of tomato plants there. So we've got sage, we've got mint, and the other side we've got thyme, and we've got not doing so very well parsley. Um, and so Oscar has learned, well, he helped me um, plant this and he also helps pick so when I have mint tea he helps me pick the mint leaves he also uh, knows that he can pick these leaves except for the tomato plants he knows he can pick these and use them in his mud kitchen so he can also help with the kind of cooking and learning that these things are used in cooking so that's a really good tip even even if you've got a small small space you can still grow herbs and you can do like tomatoes and things like that in pots um, or windowsills as well so just getting them to understand and you can use the gardening equipment that they need water they need to be, I, I turn the pot and I tell them that we need you know the sunlight and so he's really into uh, understanding um, that we can grow things and eat things from our garden uh, another element of tending to nature is having a bird feeder so we have this little bird feeder and we top it up with seed which it needs to be topped up. We actually have discovered that we have a mouse that um, comes down here and has learnt to get in and is stealing all of our seed. So we need to go buy some more because, and we also probably need to move it <laughs> so that the mouse doesn't get it because our birds um, have been using it as a bit of a lifeline. So Oscar absolutely loves it and his love of birds has come solely from this 
and then I've got so many books out of the library that have birds in that he just absolutely adores birds now. Okay so over here we have this kind of space it's got like a planter um, and we've also got our tables and chairs over there and some more plants. Basically down here he has a windmill which he absolutely loves watching the wind uh, making it turn and he turns it as well. And then down here is just a space for him to be able to dig and use those um, tools. As you can see, that's what he's been doing here. Um, and he was, <laughs> I don't know what's happened here, but we've got um, upside down tractor and this guy's, looks like he's fallen out. So that's um, what Oscar's been up to this morning um, before he went for his nap. So um, yeah, so having a space where they can just be at one with nature and dig and you know get their hands dirty is really really useful on that note we also have this space over here which is kind of just a bit more natural um when i say natural it means it hasn't been weeded <laughs> but it's a perfect place for us you can see where he's been digging perfect place for him to dig uh he also goes down um down this bit here as well as you can see all the dirt's over the side but he absolutely adores having just a space where he's not told no you can't touch that no don't dig there just having you know dedicated space for getting messy